this is AntiTube, and in this video I'm excited to show you a much easier way to align the needle bar when you've been uh, working on it or setting the height or you've removed it to clean it and you're putting it back in. And um, this method, this easier way, well, I had no idea about this at all. I'd never heard of it. I'd never seen of it. I ne in my wildest dreams, I didn't imagine it, okay? And I had uh, two different AntiTube viewers who uh, notified me about this. And um, I, I was, I, I love it. I was amazed at it. And I thought, man, I, I never even noticed that. So um, I'm going to share it, share it with you because they shared it with me. And uh, what I'm talking about is, you, you know, I can't tell you how many needle bars I've taken out and cleaned, put back in, set the height. And, and then you have to align this uh, needle bar properly so that the needle faces the hook properly. It can't be uh, twisted, you know, because it, it's, it, that can face the thread loop away from the hook and you start skipping stitches. And, uh, it, you know, part of setting the height is you, you lower the needle bar to the lowest point that it can be and you move the needle bar up or down until this top timing mark is right up parallel with the bottom of a needle bar bushing. Um, some of the machines you're, you're doing it down here. On this model the timing marks are up at the top of the needle bar. And so you, you know, you, you would loosen this clamp and, uh, you know, you would manipulate the bar up or down so that it's in the proper uh, height according to that top timing mark. And then you tighten the needle bar back up there. Oops, if I can do it through the camera here. But part of this, when, you, when you're doing this, is, um, that's actually a little low, but don't worry about it, is that you have to face the needle bar the, the right way. You have to be sure that it's aligned. And in, in this needle bar, you know, you can look at it from the end. You're looking at the needle clamp. You want it to be... Um, facing straight towards you when, when you have like a slant machine with the uh, hook a rotary hook under here you can line it up like this and uh, as a matter of fact I, when when I did the needle bar video for Lala this model 221 featherweight um, I, I just went back and I took some cutouts of that video take a look at it Part of that, when you're setting the height, is you, you also have to set the position of the bar so that it faces right to the front. You, you don't want it uh, turned one way or the other because that will turn the eye of your needle away from the hook when the hook's coming uh, by. So you can... Uh, turn that thumb screw up and get it positioned so you can't see it. You can look at the sides of the needle clamp. You can look at the set screw to, to see if you, you, you want to see it dead on looking from the end of the machine. And that helps you get it in the right position so it won't be turned. So whatever, whatever works for you. We've got our height. It looks pretty good. Let's see about lining it up here. Yeah, I'm a little bit crooked. So let me come back like that. Now that looks... Oh, 
right about there. That looks good to me. And the upper timing mark looks good up against the bushing. It looks like it's squared with the front. So all I need to do is finish um, tightening that clamping screw to finish this installation. Double check that I'm straight. Okay, so, so you see that I, I kind of make a big deal about that, right? You've got to, you've got to line, align that needle bar. And, and I'm constantly fiddling with it and reminding you to check it. And, you know, even after you think you got everything and you're all tightened up, hey, don't forget to check it one more time and stuff. Okay. So what the, what the deal is with this featherweight is right here on this clamp that comes from the, the take-up lever and clamps to the needle bar, there's a line impressed right into the front of the clamp here. And I think you'll be able to see that through my camera. But what, what else is there is there's also a line engraved into the needle bar. <laughs> no, no kidding. <laughs> And uh, when they told me about this and I looked, I said, oh my gosh, there is. I can't believe it. I've never seen that before. So when you're setting your height up here on a 221 featherweight anyway, and you, you're getting ready to tighten your clamp, you just look at that line on the needle bar and you line it up with this line on the clamp. Now forget looking down here or anything. It doesn't matter. It, you line those two lines up. Let me show you a, a close-up picture of this. These two marks. Okay, you see that? So it's like, wow, is that easy? So I've got, I've got my good height. I got my two lines together right there, and now I can firmly tighten up my uh, my clamping screw on the clamp, and I'm done. That that needle bar is going to be lined up perfectly the way Singer designed it, so that the the eye of the needle is facing that hook point. So when when it makes a little thread loop on the way up, the fabric drags on the thread, and that thread forms a little loop down there by the eye, and the hook's going to come by and grab it. And wrap it around the bobbin thread, and that's how you make your lock stitch. And it's going to be lined up perfectly for that. Ah, wow, that is so easy. <laughs> So I had to share that with you, and thanks again to the, the, the two viewers who uh, shared that with me. I've never seen this on any other model of sewing machine. Uh, of course, I haven't looked for it <laughs> because I didn't know it existed, but um, that's it. That is the unique, as far as I know, to 221, maybe 222, you know. Uh, if you know of any other Singer machines that have those uh, two lines that you can line up, let us know. <laughs> and save us all the little headache of trying to eyeball this and be sure that it's, you know, properly lined up. Okay, there you go. Thanks so much for tuning in for that. <laughs> all right. And uh, I'm working on the timing uh, no, not the time. I'm working on the uh, tension uh, situation here. But when I saw this, I was reminded of that. Ah, I can't forget to do that. So that's why it's there. Thanks for tuning in to Andy Tube. I hope you'll come back and view some of my other 500 videos. Take care.